And so in this next clip, Tucker Carlson weighs in on the Derek Chauvin trial, but more importantly, what he believes regarding the Anglo-Saxon political tradition, watch. We've got to make sure they know we mean business, she said. Well, that couldn't be clearer. Do what we say or we'll kill you, that's the message. Maxine Waters doesn't have much use for those Anglo-Saxon civic traditions like jury trials. Her demand was very clear, convict officer Derek Chauvin of first degree murder or we will burn it down. No one asked the question, is Chauvin actually guilty of first degree murder? And the answer is, you may believe he committed a crime and he may have. But no honest person who has watched the trial would tell you he is guilty of first degree murder. A lot to unpack there. Now, obviously, Tucker Carlson did that segment prior to the jury finding Derek Chauvin guilty of all three charges, which includes second degree unintentional murder, third degree murder, and also second degree manslaughter. And Tucker Carlson, much like other right wingers in the media, have decided to latch on to what Maxine Waters had said about essentially encouraging activists to take to the streets and continue to demand justice. He certainly put words in her mouth there. She did not say what he claimed she said. But nonetheless, what's amazing is that he seems to care deeply about um, jury trials and where they originate from. It's just that he doesn't care enough to actually look at the origin of jury trials. But luckily, uh, we have um, super dork Brett Ehrlich looking into it for us. And we got a little <laughs> bit of a history lesson this morning during our production meeting. So let me give you the details on where jury trials come from. Uh, the Lafif in Maliki jurisprudence developed between the 8th and 11th centuries and stipulated that 12 members of the community would swear to tell the truth and reach a unanimous verdict. Sounds sounds like it actually comes from Muslim culture. Hmm. Mm. Doesn't really go along with his uh, narrative there. Let me give you more. In the 12th century, Henry II of England similarly instituted a jury system of 12 free men charged to uncover the facts of the case with the same characteristics as the Lafif system. He was likely influenced by his uh, exchequer, Thomas Brown, who uh, formerly worked under the Dewan of the Kingdom of Sicily, which had recently conquered the Emirate of Sicily and incorporated Islamic government and legal systems into their procedures. Mm, sometimes wow. the truth Ooh. hurts, Tucker. Sometimes <sighs> it hurts. <laughs> Uh, that was a long way to go and a huge payoff. I'm so glad <laughs> you read that and that Brett brought that up. Wow, um, Islamic law, eh? Hmm. Looks like we owe that our, you know, uh, due process to Islamic law.